Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can create uh, multiple windows in new technologies applications. So in this uh, new technologies 2.8 version we recently added this multiple window creation feature. So if you are using this version you can try uh, this uh, multiple window creation right. We recently introduced uh, this feature via this uh, window.create method. So we can check about the method later. So uh, First I am going to show you this application I created to demonstrate multiple window uh, feature. I created, uh, I used the same uh, application, this uh, a small application uh, which is created uh, with the new create. So uh, I extended it by adding this uh, about uh, link. So when I click on this uh, about link, I get uh, additional window. So it is uh, very different than this. Uh, the parent window so this is kind of a small window belongs to this uh, one so it is on top and uh, we cannot resize it uh, because it is a smaller uh, uh, window about uh, new technologies right so when you are making a uh, software so you can create this kind of uh, additional windows to show some uh, things about uh, your application likewise so there are several use cases right now i can close this uh, window as a normal uh, new technologies window so it will be closed uh, this is the uh, main window which is triggering that uh, child window, right? So if I click on this uh, about, so I get uh, this window. Then I get this uh, inspector as well. Now we can check about this uh, window.create method. It accepts uh, two parameters. The first parameter is the URL. So the URL you need to open with the uh, new window. So next you can provide uh, additional options object, the window options object. So inside the options object you can provide uh, several attributes so you can uh, provide the title icon and full screen mode likewise there are several options uh, that you can provide with the uh, window options object right there's one thing to notice in this uh, method so i can explain a little bit about the internals uh, of this method this one basically create a new process right so when you are triggering this window dot create method so it will create a new process to open the new window because uh, uh, in, in new technologies we uh, create one window per process right so you can read more information uh, in here so uh, regarding that so uh, also you can create a kind of communication channel between uh, windows using storage assume that you are creating a media player using new technologies so you can use uh, one window to uh, show the video of uh, your media player so you can have other window to uh, have control of uh, the media player like play button stop button likewise so you can build a kind of communication stream uh, between uh, windows using this uh, storage api so maybe in uh, future videos i can uh, show you some examples uh, uh, about uh, the communication channels between uh, windows also before jumping into the tutorial I can say a little bit about uh, the internals about uh, this window.create and how it is uh, actually triggering a new process. When you are creating a new window using window.create method so when you are providing these uh, additional options if you are providing these options those things are will be converted into CLI options so if we check the documentation about internal CLI argument there are several things you can check so we can uh, provide uh, path context of the new technologies applications via uh, CLI arguments we can change the mode so likewise we can change the window options as well right we can uh, change the title we can change the uh, icon likewise when you are calling this window dot uh, create uh, method so it will basically convert these uh, properties into uh, uh, equivalent CLI arguments so for an example the title property will be converted into window uh, title uh, CLI argument. If you are not providing uh, these things, uh, the new uh, window will use uh, settings from your uh, neutral.config.json file. Now we know about the window.create method and now we know uh, how it works. So now we can check uh, the tutorials. To demonstrate that I already showed you I created a new application. If we check the code of uh, this application, we can start from the uh, index.html so this is the main window uh, view we use this main.js file to have some logic about this uh, main view uh, so if we check uh, main.js uh, so there is some code to init uh, neutral.js then after that uh, we use window close event to close the window when we click on the close button now it is setting up tray menu as well with some uh, tray menu items so 
this is basically the example from the new create command uh, what i did was i added this uh, uh, new link here then i triggered this open about window uh, function inside the function i called the window dot create uh, function right so first i provided the url so i need to op open this about dot html with the new window so then i pass this this uh, attributes uh, where, where the options object i needed to use this title so i use it we have width and height as well and uh, some properties some properties to uh, display the window on top and uh, make it not resizable i mentioned earlier so if we are not providing uh, one of uh, uh, the value here so assume that i am not providing the title so the default title will be loaded from uh, config uh, json right so the live reload is enabled now i can go ahead and click this one as you can see it is uh, using the title from the uh, config.json right so this is the uh, title basically here we are overriding those uh, properties uh, uh, via the options object so if i add this one now if i click on this uh, about link now we are getting uh, uh, the value i entered uh, via the options object Likewise, you can provide uh, many things here. For an example, we can check uh, for another option in window create method. Now we can try to use this borderless mode. So let's try to use it. So what you need to do is we need to go to this uh, uh, window create uh, function area and we can add a new thing, new property. So we can say borderless is uh, true. So if I click on the about uh, button, about link right now, so I get a borderless window. I'm going to run the application again. So you may wonder why this uh, inspector window is coming uh, again when you're clicking on uh, this about button. So it is coming again and again per window. No? The reason is that from the config file, I am uh, enabling it, right? If I check uh, my configuration file, I am I have this enable inspector property set to true, right? So if I make it uh, false, so if I open the application again, I will not get that uh, dev tools window here. Or if I click on the about, uh, you also am not getting the dev tools window, right? So as you can see, uh, if we are not uh, providing any kind of uh, options, so it is uh, those settings are loaded from the config JSON, right? I am going to enable the dev tools uh, again. So what if I need to enable uh, dev tools uh, from here for this uh, window and if I need to disable the dev tools for the other window. So it is very simple. What you need to do is that uh, you, you need to specify this enable inspector property uh, set to uh, false for the child uh, window. So, so I can go to window.create function area then I can say so you can add the enable inspector property here set to uh, false so if i run the application again i will get the in inspector window here but if i click on the about uh, link for the about window i will not get the inspector window right because i disabled it from here so there are several design patterns to uh, create multiple windows so for an example i used the uh, about html separate view for uh, the window so my uh, the other view is here about the html so this is for especially for another window so this is for the main window uh, for the child window for the about window i am using another js file about.js so i am basically using window close event and uh, triggering this uh, app.exit method to close the window as you can see there are uh, separate uh, view files right for each file the, there are two uh, different javascript files to have different logic uh, for each window but if you are working with a single page application uh, you cannot create a different uh, html right so you will create only one html file so in that case i think uh, you can use uh, uh, this process args to uh, identify each window then you can perform different actions or you can use different uh, hash uh, url so uh, i can explain about this uh, process args first so if i use uh, process args here in the about window i can go to my source file and modify here 
by adding process args here you can provide additional arguments to that process uh, that second window process so uh, for now i am going to enable uh, dev tools because i need to uh, see the uh, additional arguments additional cli arguments so i am going to enable this then i am going to provide uh, additional maybe a parameter to next process next window so it is called maybe a window id or something like that then you can provide maybe id window id win about uh, so if i go ahead and click on uh, about uh, link i will get the window as usual uh, with the dev tools so let's check uh, what are the cli arguments using nlrs so if you check the uh, cli argument uh, you can see there's additional argument uh, called window id right it is called the uh, window id equals win about uh, that is why uh, that is what i entered uh, when i am triggering the window.create method right so using this id you can uh, have different uh, uh, ui here you can render different ui using your uh, favorite uh, front end framework right if you are working with single page applications so there is another way using hash uh, url so that is also very simple what you need to do is that you can use uh, you can use hash url section with uh, your index html so for an example if you use uh, index html and uh, if you use hash uh, url like that uh, about or something like that so when you click on about link uh, you will get the window with dev tools so if we check the url behind uh, uh, this view using window uh, location maybe so you can see uh, this additional hash url is there so so using this hash url uh, you can uh, change the ui uh, as you wish with uh, your favorite front end framework so there are different patterns that you can use uh, to render different ui for multiple windows so you may be using same resources so using different resources like i did by creating about and the main likewise and also about html and index.html likewise right so as the final step uh, of the tutorial we can create uh, we can try to create another window from the about page maybe so maybe we can display the same about uh, page uh, with different title so what i am going to do is that i am going to create a new button in about.html so i am going to create a new button there maybe it is called another window so we can add a click action for this button using on click handler so when the user click on this uh, button we need to open a new window so for that i am going to use new thread no window dot create function so we can uh, try to open maybe the same url same about dot uh, html page then after that we can uh, change the uh, title because we earlier we discussed to change the title right so i am going to change the title to another title maybe we can use another window so i saved this one i think i need to change the main js as well because uh, i changed the url here now i am going to revert it to uh, about uh, html i saved this one so see what happens next with the application so we have the application then if i click on the about uh, link i get the about uh, window so what will happen if i click on another window so i will get another window right so this is uh, on top because i set uh, this uh, window to be top so if i click on another window then i will get another window like i i will get lot of windows right because likewise you can create uh, multiple windows in neutral js applications using window.create function like i mentioned earlier you can use different strategies to load different ui into uh, your multiple windows so in next tutorial i will explain a new feature in neutral js see you in next video